Hi, my name is Chris Radinsky. I'm from Irving, Texas, and I graduated from the University of North Texas in 2021 with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Studio Art with a concentration in sculpture. And my story is a little bit different about how I came to join the Culture Project. Um, I actually applied a year and a half ago, and uh, I got rejected, um, kind of a, a not yet from God, while I was trying to figure out his plan for me. Um, eventually, he had to like, kind of take those reins, and I had to give those to him in order to get where I am now. But um, through the course of that rejection, it actually led me to discern um, dating this woman that I was friends with for eight months prior. Um, but through the course of that relationship, we just became very intimate, um, just emotionally and, and spiritually. Not really, we had boundaries of chastity in place, which is just a beautiful thing to have. Um, and I got to know her on such a different level than previous relationships. Um, but eventually, through the course of that relationship, we ran into hurdles. And a lot of the things that you know I thought were just part of me were things that she wasn't exactly proud of. And so she was asking me to change those in order to be a part of her life, in order for me to fit into her narrative. Um, and that's something I took very personally. Um, it, I just, it allowed it to wound me in ways that um, I hadn't experienced before. And eventually it led to a breakup, which was one of the worst that I've ever um, witnessed. So, but through the course of that, it just, I fell back into this, this period of doubt and despair and sin. Um, and eventually just, I knew I had to come back to Christ where that relationship should have been rooted in the first place. Um, eventually, I re-encountered the Culture Project at a, a conference um, and just had all these feelings rushing back, encountering these wonderful people, but I just wasn't sure that this is where God wanted me to be. Um, I wasn't ready to put my heart on the line again, uh, just kind of bearing it to so many other people, especially one that I thought I would have spent the rest of my life with. Um, eventually, I providentially ran into the Philadelphia team while visiting a friend at Drexel University and just heard one of the missionaries share her heart and it just tore me to shreds. Um, and I had to just, I had to make a change. And I just started pursuing Christ more intentionally, building a daily habit of prayer, spending time with him. Um, and I just overall, I just saw such a great happiness coming from it. Um, eventually, I was on the phone with a friend, um, just thinking about the culture project and I was considering staying at this job I had in construction. Um, and I could have stayed there, made more money, become financially secure and stayed in Irving, Texas. Um, but it hit me that I just, I didn't want to. I wanted to go out and tell people how good they truly were. And I knew I had to apply. Eventually I filled out an application and um, the day before I had a conversation with someone in hiring, I was sitting in adoration and I was looking at Christ on the altar and I was like, Lord, I, I don't know what you want for me. But like, I know that you have good plans for me, so I'm ready to do whatever it is. So, um, and if the culture project wants to give me an offer, uh, my answer is yes, and I, I walked out. Um, the next day, I met with the person in hiring and just bared my heart as best as I could. And um, a week later, I got a phone call. And praise God, I'm here.